one car for better motoring, the 61 Chevrolet. The body and chassis are teamed up for comfortable, convenient, and safe riding. The engines and transmissions are teamed up and tuned up for thrifty going. For 61, the body by Fisher is improved because of the reinforced underbody, more rigid dash panel, and rigid trunk area. Add to these the years proved double wall cowl and box section roof rails and headers and body sills. The fuel filler is in the left rear quarter panel. Coupes, sedans and convertibles have a unique filler with inner and outer concentric pipes. This system permits a flow rate 50% greater than that of most service station nozzles, making for rapid, splash-free filling. In coupes, sedans and convertibles, the fuel tank is nestled beneath the trunk shelf. In station wagons, the tank is up in the left rear quarter panel behind the rear wheel. Body and chassis components shroud the fuel tank. Results? Greater safety because of extra protection against fuel tank damage in minor collisions and against damage by flying stones and severe bumps. For 61, the Chevrolet trunk has outstanding features. First, there's the convenience of Chevy's one key system. Counterbalancing makes raising and lowering the trunk lid easy. Huge trunk space is easy to get at. The spare tire is out of the way up on the trunk shelf. Total trunk capacity is 29.7 cubic feet in all models, including the convertible with the top up. A splatter type paint decorates the trunk interior. The well floor is covered with a mat in Biscaynes, Bel Airs, and Impalas. A mat is also used on the remainder of the trunk floor in Impalas. Trunk hinges are boxed to protect luggage against damage. Trunk loading and unloading is quick and easy because the trunk sill is only 21.9 inches from the ground, up to 10.5 inches lower than in previous models. The big trunk opening is 54 inches wide and 23 inches high at the center. At least 15 pieces of standard size luggage can be carried. Big Chevrolet doors are the gateways to new riding relaxation. Take four-door sedans, for example. The front doors with trim door pillars are 31.4 inches wide below the belt line and 37 inches high. Front and rear door sills of four-door sedans are only 15 inches from the ground, making it easy to step in and out. Inside, there's the spaciousness of previous models, but in a car that's 1.5 inches shorter, 2.4 inches narrower, and one half inch lower in the most popular models. This year, Chevrolet is 209.3 inches long, 78.4 inches wide, and 55.5 inches high. Every Chevy has foam cushioned front seats as standard equipment. Rear seats in Bel Airs and Impalas are foam cushioned too. Floor tunnels are low and narrow with the rear tunnel 1.5 inches narrower than previous models. Driver leg comfort is improved by raising the left portion of the tow pan. This extra comfort is combined with extra convenience from such features as crank operated ventipanes, dome light control on the main light switch and glove box lock. New overlapping wipers clear more of the windshield for fine visibility. They're electrically operated. No slowdown while accelerating or hill climbing. There's the five position ignition switch. Accessory, lock, off, on, and start. The accessory position permits radio and turn signal operation without ignition drain on the battery. As before, the car can be operated without the key. However, the key is required for lock and accessory positions and is not removable in the accessory position. The theft resistant feature of the ignition switch makes it more difficult to separate the wires from the switch. Thus, hot wiring a Chevy is difficult. Another dash panel feature is Chevrolet's instrument console. The dials, generator and oil pressure indicators, controls, ashtray, glove box and radio are housed in a console that can be quickly and easily removed if maintenance of instruments and controls is ever required. In 61, the wiring is practically foolproof. All the wires from the instrument console to the dash junction block are assembled into a single primary strand. Yes, there's more of the better things in the Chevrolet body. All these things are teamed up with the advanced chassis with its safety girder frame, ball race steering, 
Tyrex cord tires, anti squat acceleration, and anti dive braking. Safety Master brakes have a total area of 199.5 square inches of bonded brake linings for safer braking and longer lining life. Slots in the wheels permit better cooling, reducing the possibility of brake fade. Full coil springs at each wheel, four link rear suspension, and special rubber cushioning mounts between the frame and body take the shock out of the ride. Tapered roller bearings in the front wheels make for longer bearing life. Good riding is teamed up with engines and transmissions that are teamed up and tuned up for thrifty performance. There's the 135 horsepower high thrift six with 235.5 cubic inch displacement, a gas saving automatic choke and quiet hydraulic valve lifters that require no periodic adjustments. This engine operates on regular gas. For added economy on all models except station wagons, the High Thrift 6 has a rear axle ratio of 3.36 to 1 when used with power glide or three-speed synchro mesh. Six-cylinder station wagons have a rear axle ratio of 3.55 to 1 with three-speed synchro mesh and 3.36 to 1 with power glide. Another engine operating on regular gas is the 170 horsepower Economy Turbofire V8. But for more power on premium gas, there's the 230 horsepower Super Turbo Fire V8. Both of these 283 cubic inch V8s have automatic chokes, hydraulic valve lifters, full flow oil filters, and four quart oil refills. Also available are the time proved 348 cubic inch V8s. The 250 horsepower Turbo Thrust V8 has a four barrel carburetor. The 280 horsepower Super Turbo Thrust has three two barrel carburetors. These two engines feature machined in the block combustion chambers, automatic chokes, full flow oil filters, and four quart oil refills. The compression ratio is 9.5 to one. The 305 horsepower turbo thrust special V8 has a compression ratio of 9.5 to one and hydraulic valve lifters. The 340 horsepower turbo thrust special V8 has a compression ratio of 11.25 to one. For extra performance, there's the 350 horsepower Super Turbo Thrust Special V8. These two engines have solid valve lifters and special camshafts. Five transmissions are available on 1961 Chevrolets. Manual three-speed synchro mesh and overdrive have selector levers on the steering column. The manual four-speed synchro mesh has a floor-mounted shift lever. In automatics, there is power glide and turbo glide. Three-speed synchro mesh is available with all engines. Four-speed synchro mesh is offered with all turbo thrust V8s. Overdrive and regular power glide can be teamed up with the high thrift six and turbo fire V8s. Heavy duty power glide is available with the 305 horsepower turbo thrust special V8. Turbo glide is available with turbo fire V8s, the turbo thrust V8 and the super turbo thrust V8. The 61 Corvette is offered with a choice of five 283 cubic inch V8s. 230 horsepower V8, four barrel carburetor. 245 horsepower V8, two four barrel carburetors. 270 horsepower V8, two four barrel carburetors and special camshaft. 275 horsepower V8, ramjet fuel injection. 315 horsepower V8, ramjet fuel injection and special camshaft. Transmission choices on the Corvette include three-speed synchro mesh, four-speed synchro mesh, and heavy-duty power glide. Yes, in 1961, the Chevrolet body, chassis, engines, and transmissions are teamed up, tuned up, and thrifty for the utmost in motoring pleasures. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more.